Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and is Signal still secure? Should I delete this app from my phone? Is it really not privacy oriented anymore because some random person on Twitter said something? Well, let's break this down. And we'll start with this. The amount of energy necessary to refute BS posted online is orders of magnitude greater than the energy it took to produce it. Think about that. This is one of the problems that frequently people have is some random person well, not even random person. Sometimes it's an army of bots, a bunch of Twitter bots of newly formed, you know, accounts that are running around tweeting signals compromised. And then a bunch of people go, but is it, could it be that all these security researchers and all these people that are, you know, reviewing the code, looking at it, understanding the protocol, understanding the cryptography involved in it, we're all wrong. And there's some flaw that this random person on Twitter, and then people start tagging me or, you know, asking Signal questions like, are you secure? Is this still a secure app? Too long, didn't watch. Signal was secure yesterday. It's secure today. It'll be secure tomorrow. And I'm doing this video because Signal had tweeted this out right here. We had an uptick in usage for Eastern Europe and rumors are circulating that Signal is hacked and compromised. This is false. Signal is not hacked. We believe these rumors are part of a coordinated misinformation campaign meant to encourage people to use less secure alternatives. You can just look over here and Russia forces continue strikes in multiple cities throughout the Ukraine. We know the current events of today here in March of 2022. Signal sees a uptick in European users. This is undoubtedly people that are concerned a little bit more than just privacy, but actually their personal safety. They want to use an app that they can trust that when they are speaking with someone, it is that someone and nobody in between is picking up that conversation. This isn't just, like I said, privacy. This could be all the way escalated to life and death. So this is obviously very serious. A lot of people are looking at these apps and signal because it's a popular security app that by default and only by default, it does full secure end to end encryption, meaning between the app, wherever you started talking to someone and where it landed, that's where it was decrypted. It was encrypted here and decrypted there at its destination. And at no point in between was it well able to be decrypted, I should say. The important part to think about here is they're doing it not only by default, but it's the only option when you talk with Signal. It's all encrypted. Other applications, lots of them, Telegram being an easy example, do not encrypt by default. And as you know, if you work in computer technology and security at all, the default is where most people leave it. Now, obviously more concerned or many of the savvy audience that we have here are people who will change the defaults to a more secure setting, but we know the average user is not going to do that. Signal is aware of people's behavior of leaving things at default, so they only offer encrypted. Now, the other reason Signal does it is for two reasons. Well, one, so you have a good end-to-end -end encrypted system. And the second part is really simple. If Signal does not have your data, you cannot compromise or attack Signal with the hopes to get data. Signal has posted this before and talked about how they deal with subpoenas. And right here is an example of how they dealt with a search warrant. Because everything in Signal is end-to-end -end encrypted by default, the broad set of personal information that is typically easy to retrieve in other apps simply doesn't exist on Signal servers. Once again, a request sought a wide variety of information we don't have, including the user's name, address, correspondence, contact groups, or call records. And this is all a breakdown of that subpoena. And this is something Signal has done before, tongue-in-cheek going, we provided them with everything we had. We gave them all of it, which was nothing. And by not having anything, it makes it easy for them to respond to subpoenas because you can't just ignore them. That would be a different problem. You have to respond, but that response can be a very honest one. And this is what Signal does. We give you everything, which is nothing. And that being said, this is a important. They have been put to the test many times in the past. Now they're just putting themselves to the test now with misinformation that people have out there. Obviously, this misinformation is undoubtedly by people looking to compromise them and this is very likely a Russian campaign. You know, we don't know for sure where all these rumors come from, but we can suspect that people are, well, not happy that the Ukrainians are using a more secure app or anyone is. This is something that we're dealing with all the time is government bodies that would like things not to be encrypted. So they would like to see our conversations upon request. And well, that's never going to go well. We already are familiar with other acts such as Earn It that is going on here in the U.S. It's not anything new. Back to Signal. Yes, it's secure. That's all my rant is about today. For those of you that are wondering, for those of you that are interested in using it, I would still recommend it. It's still my favorite app when it comes to end-to-end -end encrypted privacy. I have a lot of friends that are using it, not 
just my computer and technology friends, but a lot of the general populace has really, over the years, switched to it. I've actually been really excited to see the large number of users, and I know some of it's attributed to Elon had tweeted about it and things like that. Uh, whatever makes it popular, I'm fine with. You know, more people using a secure app where we have privacy in our conversations that cannot be spied on, I think is a good thing. I think Signal's a solid product. But I'll leave links to my previous videos I've done on Signal where I've talked a little bit more in depth about different features on there. But you can still trust the app or you can trust nothing. That's really up to you. You can trust random Twitter accounts that are spreading misinformation, or you can trust longtime vetted security researchers or maybe some rando person on YouTube who posts about these things and posts about them prior to the current events of 2022 and is going to continue posting about my advocacy for a privacy app such as Signal and that I use it. So, all right, links down below for the things I mentioned and thanks. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a short sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.